All right, guys. So good morning to everyone. I'm Mr. Johnny. Right now we have a special day. Well, a special class as well, because we are going to see a topic that you know very well, which is this. It's talking about, I'm talking about will, the use of will for requests and offers. Well, actually today is Wednesday, May 13, 2020. Let me see the chat. Okay. Okay, let's continue. So the topic number one, well, actually this is the main topic. The principal topic is the use of will for requests and offers. Okay, now the explanation of will. Will is an auxiliary, it's an special auxiliary why? Because we have to speak in English and uh, we are going to speak in future. All of these actions are in future. So in this case, we are going to be focused on will. Okay, I'm going to explain to you what's the difference, no problem. I will, I will tell you later, okay? Okay, let me see. Yeah, this one. All right, let me see another two. Okay, will we can use for request? Remember, this is the number one. And we can use it as to make uh, offers too. All right, so, no, don't copy this, Abraham, not copy. I will tell you when you have to copy, okay? Okay, first, what are requests? Please, copy this. What are requests? Copy this slide. This is important for you. Copy, what are requests? And here, we have the, the definitions, a small definitions. This is the number one, and this is the number two. Copy this in your notebook, please. Remember, you have to, you have to get your notebook beside you because it's important. All right, first we have requests. Number one says, talk about when people, this is important because we are talking about people as well. People ask for, this is the, the main definition, ask for something. This is the request. Something like what? For example, it could be, as you know, the, our unit is unit number four for this EFL class. This is review class. So for example, it could be the, the balloons, for example. This, this could be or request balloons. Another way we can say, we need to buy, for example, soda, you know, or we need to buy the candies. So you need, you ask for, some, for something. And the, the other one is people need help do something. In this case, I imagine I'm having a party and I need help and I request. I'm going to show you what's the structure for this. All right, let's continue. So the structure for requests is very simple because requests are questions. If you can copy this, it will be good. It will be okay. So the auxiliary is important. It's at the beginning. It's the main one, and then we have a subject. What is our subject here? It's you, the pronoun you. Then we have the, the verb. The verb is poor. 
Pour is like a serve that drinks. I'm talking about orange juice. And the orange juice eats or complement. Remember, this is our complement. So this is the structure. Will, number one. Subject, number two. The verb, number three. And our complement will be orange juice. This is the four, the four one. Okay, so but here there is another feature because we have a second, we can say a second structure. As you know, who is the WH question? Who is the subject? Is the hidden subject? So, what does it mean? The subject here, it's impossible if you say who you. Uh -uh, that's wrong. This is wrong. Why? Because who is our subject? And then we continue auxiliary. Then we have the verb and the complement as well. So who is our subject? That's why it's hiding. Okay. If you have questions, please chat. Type on the chat, please. If not, we can continue. Okay, let me erase this to continue again. Okay. Okay, tell me your questions, Rebecca. Type it, please. Yes, poor, poor is the action verb. Exactly. It's when you serve the drink. For example, I need to pour the soda. I need to pour the coffee. Exactly. If you say who you, for example, if you say who you will buy, uh -uh, that's wrong. You don't need a subject here because who is the subject? Who will buy the candies? Who will inflate the balloons? Who will bake the cake. Those are good examples. Oscar, yes, you have to copy this structure. Yeah. But we need to continue because we don't have much time. I will give you time later. Okay, Oscar. So let's continue. I need to show you something else. Okay, here this is uh, not necessary to copy because you have this presentation, but this presentation I have modified it, okay? For example, we have will, remember, it's auxiliary. Will, number one, Mike will be the subject and the verb, get. So remember, this is vocabulary for birthday party. For example, this is my request and and, and look at this, look at this. This is a question. The question mark is important to have it, to write it. Okay, I will answer you that question. Uh, you have until Saturday morning to send me the video, okay? Until Saturday morning. Okay, so. This is important because requests are questions. Remember this, Nor, they are not sentences. Uh -uh. They are questions. This is important. This is one difference. The requests are questions. Copy this in your notebook. Requests are questions. And as we have here a question, we need an, an, an answer. For example, yes, if in the case, the sentence or the answer is positive. Yes, he will. It's a short sentence, but actually we have no contraction. And yes, we have the other one that says, yes, he'll, remember the pronunciation, is the contraction of will. He'll and he will. It's, this is very simple. I know you. I know you know this very well, guys. All right. So 
let's delay this. Okay, continue. Okay, this is the, a, a small chart that we can see. It's not necessary to copy because you have it. Just look at this. Do we have the contractions? I will, I'll, you will, you'll, he will. This is a topic that you saw already, okay? So we need to pass the other slide. We have a second example. Will Mary send the invitations? This is a, another request. Remember. This is another request. Will, auxiliary, Mary, subject, and the verb, send. And the complement, send the invitations. And look at this, it's a question. This is request. Okay, and the answers, yes, she will, here, no contraction. And this one here, it's a contraction. Remember, all right, this is not necessary to copy. If you want, you can copy or if not, it's not necessary, okay? Cool. Let's hurry up. Okay, more examples. Just look at this, don't copy this, don't copy. Will Steven and John pick out the music? Pick out is select the music, okay? What kind of music they are going to play on the birthday party. So we have here, yes, they will, or yes, they'll. Is the, is the contraction, remember. This is very simple, all right. Let's continue. Four, will Melissa wash the dishes? Remember, our request here, we have a request. Because will is the auxiliary, then we have the subject and the verb and the complement. And yes, it's a question as well. This is important because requests are questions. Okay. No, don't copy this. You are going to have this. Okay, don't copy. This is just, these are just examples. Okay, so let's continue. Here we have number five. Will Stephanie pour the drinks? Here we have a special case. Don't copy this, remember. We have an answer. First one, no, she will not. If you say she will not, uh -uh, this is incomplete. Why? because it's incorrect first, and this is not polite. Okay, Walter, the difference between request and offer, first, first one, the request are questions. They are not sentences, they are questions, the request. The offer is on sentence, sentence. Yes, offers, no, offers are sentences. Okay. So continue with this. The la question. Okay. So we have here, uh, let me see. I'm going to mute you just in case, just to hear me well, okay? So, yes, request, remember, request are questions. Simple as that, don't complicate. Okay, I'm going to skip one, uh, most of these slides, okay. Then let me see, something that, that I forgot. So, the, the sentence here is no. In case the sentence, remember, because the sentences or the answers can be positive and negative. In this case, they are negative. By this is the correct way. No, she won't be able to. Why is this correct? And this one is incorrect. It's very simple. Because this one, it's 
polite. It's someone kind or a, a kind person. This is the way or this is the structure to answer if in if case, if any case, you win, you won't be able to. Okay? This is the correct way. So in the video, you can include I won't be able to if you want. You can say positive sentences or negative sentences. Okay? Simple as that. Okay. So, another important thing we have here. So, this is the polite way. Is someone very, uh, uh, very kind in simple words. Okay, here is another example that you know. Will you mop the floor? No, I won't be able to. This is the correct way. Or another way is no, I will not be able to. All right. So, let me see. Please turn up the microphone. I mute you all. Okay, here we have another one. The second structure for, for will to make quest, to make a request are using who. This is something that you already know. This is not necessary to copy because you know this topic, okay? For example, who, remember, who is substituting you, we, they, I, he, will, all the pronouns. And the correct way is who will help me. It's a request. This is another way to say request, okay? And then we have, Victor, ah, Victor is the offer. That is the, uh, the other part. This is the difference. So the offer is the other person, is the offerer or the kind person. For example, I have a big problem. I want to, I want to have a big party. So uh, who will help me, I say. And then Victor will help me. Okay, thank you so much, Victor. Victor is the offer in this case. This is the offer. Okay. Let me check the chat. Okay, Rebecca, first, the, the requests are questions and the offers are sentences. Okay, simple as that. The requests are questions and the offers are sentences is the second part of the sent of the questions okay okay you're welcome so continue with this let me raise this first and we have to continue all right then we have a second example who will put up the decorations this is the request remember because it's a question the decorations are the balloons, are the, the stickers, it could be, and other things. Okay, this, these are just examples. Don't copy this because you know this. Okay, third, uh, third one, third one. The, sorry, third one. Who will prepare the snacks? Okay, this is the question. This is the request, remember. Simple as that. Now, Number four, who will bake the cake? It's another request. This is very simple. And we here, we don't have a, a sentence, an answer. Why? Because you are only making the request. This is just a request, okay? And, okay, so this, please copy this in your notebook. This is important. Copy this in your notebook. Offers are proposed to give 
So they are able to give something or they are very kind. These people are kind and they offer by themselves. Offers are proposed to give, this is a small definition, or a person who makes an offer. Simple, you can copy this one. Number one, proposed to give or able to give. And number two, a person who makes an offer. And this person, this, these people are very known as polite person or polite people because they are very happy. All the time, these people are very happy to help others. Yes, copy this. No problem, German. This class, you will, you, will, you will receive it. I will send it to you, okay? Because this class is recorded. It's being recorded. Okay. So copy this, please. Offers are proposed to give. Number two, a person who makes an offer. And this is the example. Polite person or polite people. Okay, we have to hurry up. Copy this, please. Finish. Okay, thank you. Monica, so the requests are questions. Okay, you can copy that. The requests are questions and the offers are sentences. I will give you more examples, okay? Okay, I'm going to mute you all because there is someone who is interrupting here. Okay. So here. After copying this, okay, we have we can continue. So here, here is an example. Uh, I'm having a party for next Saturday. This is my plan, okay? But I'm just saying, I'm not making a question here. This is my plan, remember, this is my plan. I'm having a party for next Saturday. So, Joseph will help me. And look at this, here, offer is not a question, uh -uh. it's a sentence. Offer is a sentence. Remember, this is the difference. Requests are questions and offers are sentences. And Joseph is the, the polite person, is the kind person. All right? Very simple. So let me erase this. And now we continue. Hey, Joseph is here is the polite person. Okay, another example, uh, so fast. Franklin will buy the soda. Franklin is offering by himself. So this is not a question, it's a sentence. Offers are sentences, remember. And will is here as well. But here, Franklin is the number one is the subject, but here Franklin is number one. Then we have will, a second place. And then we have the verb and the complement as well. Okay, so in order to continue, I need to go fast. Another example, James will bake the cake. James is offering his help. So I'm not asking for help. I just say, I'm having a party. Ah, okay, James will bake the cake. Thank you so much. Because James is the polite person. All right. So another example. Okay, this is a story. I just change it a little bit. It says, Donald is having a birthday party for next Sunday morning, but 
he is not working. Imagine this quarantine. A lot of people are not working and he is not working. Therefore, therefore Donald needs help. He wants a big party. Okay, so here's the problem or here's the, imagine Donald is right here, like, like this. He's very worried, so worried, I mean. Okay, so Donald says, who will help me prepare the party? Is this a request? Because this is a question, remember, it's a question. And Marlon, ah, Marlon is the offer. Because Marlon is offering his help. Marlon will buy the snacks. Thank you so much, Marlon, for your help. Then, second example, Rose will put up the decorations. Okay, Rose is very polite because she's offering her help. Okay, and uh, continue with this. Number three, Marvin will inflate the balloons. So Marvin here is another person who is offering. It's not a sentence, uh -uh. this is, I'm sorry, it is not a question, it's a sentence. Offer our sentences, Marvin, subject, auxiliary will, the verb, and the complement. Simple as that. Okay. We have nine minutes. Continue with this. Jimmy will buy the drinks. Okay, imagine drink, Jimmy buying the drinks. And here, another one, we have another one. Donald, now at the end of the story, Donald is happy, so happy. And he says, thank you guys for helping me. This is the end of the story. Now, I have prepared, imagine Donald is like here, like his friends. They are very happy. Okay. Now, I need you to pay me attention. Please, pay me attention with this. This is a practice. Answer me through the chat. You can chat or using the microphone. For example, imagine a number one. Use the chat or the microphone, your microphone. Okay, here, I need the help of uh, Deborah, please tell me, number one, tell me, it's a request or offer? You can chat or you can type on the chat or you can active the microphone and tell me, please. What is the answer, Deborah? Offer. It's an offer, let's see. Yeah, it's an offer. Why? Because in this case, it's not a question, right? It's a sentence. Jocelyn will, remember, Jocelyn is the number one, is the subject here in this case. And will is a second place. Exactly, very nice. Congratulations, Deborah, thank you. Now we have another one. Please, um, I think is Walter. Please, Walter, tell me, number two, read it and tell me, it's a request or offer? Request, are you sure? Read it. Tell me, Walter. Look at this, pay attention to this. Arnold won't be able to pour the drinks. What do you think? What do you, Walter, think? Okay. Yes, it's an offer. It's an offer. Exactly. Very nice, Walter. Okay, let's continue. So here we have another uh, 
Salvador, tell me. Number three, it's a request or offer. Number three, what do you think? You can speak or write on the chat. It's a request. Yes, exactly, Salvador. It's a request. Big why? Because it's a question. Look at this. Look at the question mark at the end. Will Alex bake the cake? It's a request. Good. Then another, uh, let's see. Ashley, please tell me, Ashley, speak or Use the chat. Number four, it's a request or offer. What is the option? You can write on the chat. It's a request or offer, Ashley. You can type on the chat. What's the answer, Ashley? Okay. Okay. I think Ashley probably is not here. Let's see. Okay. Abraham, please. Abraham, tell me what is number four? It's a request or offer? What do you think? You can chat or you can speak. Let me see the chat. Yes, Abraham. Abraham. Exactly. Very nice. It's a, <clears throat> sorry. It's an offer. Alex won't be able to in this case. So here, as you already know, this topic is very simple. Now you know the difference. Remember this. Okay, we don't have much time, so I'm going to skip these ones. And okay, this is the end of the class, but I'm going to give you some time. Let me see the chat. Ah, Rebecca, okay, sorry. For the, because of the time, we don't have much, uh, much time here on the application soon. But let me see. Okay, guys. Do you have any questions about this? You can activate your microphones. Questions about will or not? No, mister. No. Okay. Okay, that's good to hear no, that. No, mister. It's, it's good to hear that. Okay, thank you. So, if you don't have any questions, we can continue like this. Okay, guys. So I hope you have enjoyed this class. I hope you have enjoyed this class. And uh, if you have any questions, you can chat. You can uh, write me on WhatsApp, okay? So guys, thank you so much for being here. I hope to see you next class and please, you can send me the, the video as much as possible, uh, as maximum, as maximum on Saturday morning, okay? Please work on that. And if you have questions, please write me, okay? If you, if you don't have questions, please. So we, you are free to go out to the applications, guys. Thank you so much for being here. Okay. I will be sharing the, this video on WhatsApp, okay? Okay. Okay, guys, have a, have a good day and God bless you and stay at home, please. Okay, God bless you, see you all. Bye, mister. Bye. Bye, Bye mister. Bye, guys. I miss you all. I miss you all. Bye. Bye, Oscar. Bye.